Today for our leveled read aloud, we're going to be reading The Nature Club. And this is by Susan Spear and it's illustrated by Marsha Solomowitz. The strategy focus for this book is how can you have a nature club in the city? As you read the story, stop from time to time and summarize what has happened before or happened so far. Remember, pause the video whenever you feel like you would like to summarize and tell me in a couple sentences what has happened so far in the book. Chapter one, the surprise. On Saturday morning, Mr. Higgins, Irene's father, called to her from the kitchen. He was the manager of the apartment building they lived in. Come down to the recreation room with me, Irene, he said. I have a surprise for you. The recreation room was in the basement of the building. It had a place to play table tennis, books to read, and some big cushioned chairs. Irene had spent many hours playing there with her friends, James, Brian, and Juanita. At the end of the recreation room was a smaller room. It had been filled with cardboard boxes and piles of newspaper. But now things were gone. I cleaned out the small room, Mr. Higgins said. I even painted it. Now you and your friends can use it as a clubhouse. As fast as she could, Irene ran back upstairs. She called each of her friends on the phone. Meet me downstairs in half an hour, she said. Everybody has to bring something for our new clubhouse. Chapter 2. What kind of club? Everyone met in the clubhouse at 11 o'clock. Irene brought pillows for people to sit on. Brian brought some curtains to hang across the door. James brought cheese sandwiches in case they got hungry. And Juanita brought a CD player with her favorite CDs. After they set up the clubhouse, the friends talked about what kind of club it would be. Juanita thought a violin club would be great, but nobody else played violin. Brian thought they should have a pet club, but pets weren't allowed in the building. James wanted a baseball club, but Brian and Irene didn't like baseball. Finally, Irene shared her idea. Let's have a nature club. We can search around the neighborhood and study the animals that live here. Then we can come back to our clubhouse and talk about what we found. None of Irene's friends thought nature, a nature club was a good idea. We live in the city, Brian said. The only animals here are pigeons. Just give me one chance to prove you're wrong, Irene said. Let's meet here at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Chapter 3, A Special Guide The friends met at the clubhouse the next morning. Everyone wore boots and carried backpacks. Irene brought binoculars and a special guide. It was her dad. Irene and I go on nature walks, walks all over the city, Mr. Higgins said. Now we'll show you what we've discovered. Our first stop is the parking lot behind the building, Irene said with a smile. See, Irene said as they stood at the edge of the parking lot, aren't they beautiful? At first, the friends couldn't see much. I only see pigeons, Brian said. But then Juanita looked closer. I see some butterflies, she said. There were dozens of them in wonderful colors. They come here every summer, said Mr. Higgins. The next stop was the field behind the bus yard. More pigeons, James said as he pointed to where they flew overhead. Stay still and quiet, Irene whispered. Watch the place in front of that fallen log. Soon they saw a mother fox emerge from the den. Three fox kits waddled along behind her. By the time they got to the pond in the park, everyone was looking more carefully. James spotted three salamanders on the pond's edge. Juanita spied a turtle sunning itself on the rock. And Brian saw a great blue heron hunting for a meal. Everyone forgot to look for pigeons. Next, Mr. Higgins led the friends to the top of the city tower. Using binoculars, they looked out the window. Peregrine falcons, Juanita said. I've seen those on TV. Mr. Higgins explained that falcons love to nest on the tall city buildings. The pigeons better stay away from here, Irene said. They're a pigeon's favorite meal. Chapter 4, The Clubhouse. They got back to the apartment building. The children thanked Mr. Higgins. Then they went down, down to their clubhouse to eat lunch. As they ate, they talked about their nature walk. We should make a big poster showing everything we saw, Juanita said. Irene and the other friends agreed. James found a big piece of paper and marker. He wrote, Nature Club, all welcome, on the paper. Then the friends decorated their signs with butterflies, foxes, salamanders, turtles, a great blue heron, and a pair of green falcon. They were almost finished. Brian added a pigeon. That way, everyone will know it's a city club, he said with a smile. All right, guys, I'm going to put these response questions, as always, in the description box below. You may talk about them, you may think about them, or you can jot them down if you want to write them to check our comprehension. I hope you enjoyed The Nature Club, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!